Well, back to that nationwide manhunt for Charles Dyer, the man accused of raping a six-year-old Stevens County girl. Earlier, we told you Dyer did not show in court this morning for his trial. His attorney and Bonson both told the judge they had not heard from him in days. It is the latest twist in an already strange story. 7 News reporter Sylvia Corkill just returned from Stevens County with more. Sylvia? Monica Freeman is a woman who's accused of burning Dyer's mobile home down. And I spoke with her mother and aunt today. They shared their thoughts about Dyer himself and his failure to appear in court. He's accused of raping a six-year-old girl and now is wanted for running from the law. In our opinion, he's a desperate individual. Uh, we have reason to believe that he's heavily armed. Kim Connolly says this hardly seems to be the man her niece, Monica Joy Freeman, fell in love with. Oh, what a smooth dude. You know, just sweet as pie, very polite. Freeman is the woman accused of setting the fire that destroyed Dyer's home just last week. Freeman's mother, Brenda Denham, says she never approved of Dyer or his misuse of women. Denham says she confronted Dyer of his other girlfriend and that he offered up an explanation. Uh, his living girlfriend is there to make him look good and everything looked like a nice, steady person and everything. And uh, Charles has said that uh, as soon as the court thing is over and everything, well, she's kicked to the road. Connolly says her niece knows right from wrong. This is just completely against her character, way against her character, you know. If her Aunt Kim smokes weed, which I do, she's pissed. She says if Freeman did commit the arson, Dyer is to blame. He was definitely brainwashed and influenced by his great smile, his demeanor. Connolly says her family never believed Dyer was guilty of the crimes he was accused of. Now she says they're not so sure. Now, if there was any innocence about it, why would he take off? Why would he take off, you know? Well, this here does not look uh, too good for Another him. Another twist to the story, we received an anonymous source, uh, from an anonymous source, a letter from Charles Dyer himself, addressed to several people, including the DA, his family, the Sheriff's Department, and even Seven News. In it, he claims he ran because the government is conspiring against him. He says if he isn't heard from in 90 days, that he is dead. Back to you. And the sheriff says Dyer is considered armed and highly dangerous. Authorities who searched the charred remains of his home say his belongings were gone, in se including several guns. Now, as far as the retrial is concerned, Stevens County DA Jason Hicks says Dyer's attorney did request a change of venue on August 1st, but that it was denied. Hicks says when Dyer is captured, it's yet to be determined if the case will be tried in another county.